Hi everyone, Dolan Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. Welcome back also to CC, the test server for EVE Online, where CCP is holding the second boss test for the 64 bit client. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the previous one was on a different server that actually had some trouble dealing with the amount of people that came to take a look at the 64 bit client. So, this one is on CC. Singularity should be a bit more powerful. And uh, even the current numbers, 322 in local, are pretty good but not something that should be a problem for the test server so let's hope for a smooth experience here we should be starting in uh, basically any moment at this point um, the uh, channel is uh, set to devs only and uh, CCP Habakkuk will of course share all the uh, stages that we have to do uh, for this mass test there's nothing really specific in the uh, message of the day so I think uh, generally we should just be looking at performance. If we notice anything glaring, make a bug report and hope that CCP gets all the metrics that they need and uh, that they manage to iron out some of the memory problems that we had uh, with the first uh, mass test. So a pretty powerful rig can actually handle uh, everything quite fine. But there is this, um, yeah, it was quite demanding, I think, on, on some of the uh, older rigs uh, as well. So let's see, a lot of that should be fixed at this point, and uh, we will, of course, see how everything performs. Um, yep, this will be Habakkuk basically reading my mind. If you encounter any bugs, please mention them in a, a mass question and send a bug report to the F12. Who knows what we will encounter? Uh, crashes as well. Now, if crashes start to happen, it's possible, last couple of mass tests, gotta be honest, we did uh, crash a little bit, uh, which is good. You'd rather crash on a test server uh, than on uh, on TQ, of course. Uh, but then, you know, need to relog all of that stuff. So then I might just make an edited video. If it goes well, uh, then uh, we'll, we'll try to give you guys the full recording of this mass test. One thing that I'm noticing is uh, quite a few um, Triglavian ships. Here's a, a Dracovac. Uh, a Leshak as well, battleship, and uh, there's some Tech 2s flying around here as well. And it is starting to get quite crowded at the gate here. Let's see if I can. There we go, Ikitursa. That looks. I think that's the assault frigate. Look at that puppy. That looks really pretty damn cool. Um, if you crash, it's worth to check the memory consumption of the client, for example, in Windows Task Manager. If we uh, have something like that, we'll obviously take a look at that. I'm in the Dominic, same one as uh, last time. Uh, but I, I noticed I made a mistake. I bought some void ammo, but it's large and I actually have medium guns on this one. Um, so yeah, we'll have to uh, make sure that every shot counts when it comes to the PvP battle. And then let's see if I can find anything else. Okay, let's get started in one minute. So here we get uh, someone else in an Ikitursa. And what is the other one? Uh, let's see if I can spot any. Nope, there is quite a big list. Let's see if I can then maybe find a cruiser on the market. Should be ships, cruisers, heavy assault cruisers, triglavian. Oh, it is the Kitters. Oh, that's actually the cruiser. Oh man, it really doesn't look like. Oh, yeah, it doesn't look like a cruiser. It, it, it looked so small. But that's the Ikitursa. And isn't there a, a frigate as well? Let's see if we can spot that. So there's the Damavik. But then there should also be an assault frigate. Strike Levin. It's the Nergal. All right. And that is basically a, a slight variation on the frigate hull indeed. So... Okay, well, it's always good to know what it is that you'll be shooting at, because uh, if I spot a cruiser, that's often my favorite target in this battleship. And uh, the first step is only for subcapitals. Uh, the Sino will be later, so if I'm not mistaken, let's. you can always check that, of course, in the message of the day. Uh, we'll start in FD at the gate, subcapitals will jump to the system, and then warp loop to planet 10, and that's where the capitals and supers will join us through the Sino if everything um, goes according to plan. So in 10, oh, we get a jump order. 
actually missed that but you can see the gate firing I'm not sure if you noticed it but that was pretty damn cool uh, firing lots of ships at xbv and here we go we got through pretty smooth jump i must say and then you can see a local start to go up uh, planet 10 i think it was planet this let's do an align two and more and more ships arriving from behind the planets that does look very 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 nice that's still an awesome effect and a big advantage of course uh, if you play in a big group then you've got some of that cool cool stuff look at everyone arriving from back there Zoom, zoom through the gate. 60 FPS at this point. Pretty decent. We are hiding at the brackets. Subcapitals warp to planet 10. So we'll do a warp within zero. And yep, I was aligned. Some people are, I think, skipping steps and heading straight for the keep star, which is not what we want to do. Yeah, always have that patience, be in the mass testing channel and then uh, follow up. Local is now at 2.30, uh, mass testing is at 330 people. So definitely above average uh, compared to the last couple of mass tests I would say. And uh, I do hope that CCP gets all the numbers that they need here uh, for this test. Because well, 64 bit, uh, a big jump forward for, uh, for the EVE Online client would be really awesome. Uh, potentially uh, opening up the pathway to DirectX 12, better graphics, better performance and all of that good stuff. So let's hope that this will be successful and now we, that we can get the client on TQ uh, pretty soon. So let's land at planet 10. A big ball of ice apparently. And we're actually going to land really close to the... Um, <laughs> That's an at zero. There you go. When you probably would have uh, taken an, an at 10 or 100 or something like that. But that's okay. We're actually going to pull a little bit away from this. So, and normally we have like a structure keep star. Let's see if we can find it. Mass testing keep star. Let's see which way we align in order to find that. It's away from everything. So that ought to be okay. And I will just, there comes the Sino. So first Titan moves in. As the fleet lands behind here. <laughs> Very cool. And then we get more Sinos coming in. With some carriers, dreadnoughts. Hmm, maybe if I zoom out, can we see? No, they just materialize in here. You don't really see them. Uh, arriving from any place. So there's the Sino. Ooh, man, more avatars. Very nice. Very cool. This is, I mean, this is if, if you're in Nalsic, you know this, but for someone that's more of a Care Bear and a solo player like myself, this is like, whoa, that looks great. And uh, actually not that inaccessible for newer players as well. If you're wondering, can you ever get here? Well, on the test server, as you can see, it's accessible to basically anyone. And even in Nullsec, join a big group, get in their fleets. And uh, you'll witness stuff like that on TQ as well. A couple of dreadnoughts and faxes coming in down below. And there we go. I'm aligning ahead of the rest. And a big ball of iron right in front of the Poco. Very nice. Uh, FPS still at 60. So I feel like this is doing quite okay. And look at the skin change. <laughs> Pretty good. And it's, it's a lot of capital. So I think that in the... Uh, PvP fight uh, I probably won't last too long because that's definitely uh, a lot of big ships look at local go up now to 325 and even mass uh, mass testing the channel for instructions is still going up to 340 as well and more and more look at that 337 
And then here are the tiny little capital ships. Small dots compared to all the behemoths that uh, that Sino did. Capitals jump to Sinos. Yep, I think they did. Let's see if we can get this up to 350. And more titans. Pretty cool. So these are W. And down here is probably X. All right. Align to planet 1. Do not warp. Planet 1. Align 2. So a good thing that we pulled away from... Um, from the Poco there. Don't want to get stuck behind that at this point. We are ready. 350. We did it. Yeah, not bad. And for now, this is feeling quite okay. And more. And more. Yeah, the capitals almost outnumber the subcaps, I think. And you can look at just all the small dots now aligning planet one then the big guy starting to turn as well that's the sandbox this this is the sandbox this is really cool Ooh, man i wonder if they're gonna drop any triglavian surprises on us i don't expect it but who knows it would be cool So we get some uh, command bursts. Roger that. Let's see if they'll do fleet warps. I think that's why we're still not warping. And you can imagine in the background that you've got CCP running numbers like crazy. Seeing how everything works. Warp to the mass testing keep star. Um, I'll do an at 10 just to be safe we can we can slow boat towards it if we need it there <laughs> oh my god pretty big warp hmm, someone in a pot and i'm all alone at warp so here yeah, performance is of course pretty good i'm i have to admit it's a lot right almost 370 in local this is also it's still cc it's a more powerful test server but it it's not uh, tq um oop, and alicia just zooms on past um so i am a little bit hesitant of really playing around with the camera and being too too um too intense with everything i don't want the client to hang or anything like that so i'm going to play a little bit like conservatively make sure that i stay decently zoomed out that i don't do anything uh, too abrupt and too crazy. Basically, want to uh, to work for that stability. And we are ten kilometers ahead of everything. And so, oof, that was a big warping. Lots of big guys, and I should probably approach that. <laughs> and there comes Voltron massive ball of really really big ships and so next step i think it was just dock undock open up some uh, neocom windows and things like that fps definitely dropping uh, a keep star on the background and then a whole fleet on grid at this point almost 400 yeah, it's definitely suffering. 35 FPS. If I fully zoom out, let's see if we can recover a bit. Yeah, going up to 45 or something like that. And this is the most dangerous step. I think last time this is where really lots of crashing and stuff like that happened. So let's dock in the Keepstar. Oh, gotta get a little bit closer. A micro up drive. Let's see local. 369. That's a good sign. We should just keep speeding up towards that docking point. Crackling sound well, feels okay for me. Docking request accepted. And there we go. 
here is the outside view well we took a bit of a, a dive in performance but we made it so that's okay my book um, let's quickly switch to the inside view the hangers I feel like they've brightened them up again here on CC at the moment and I'm definitely getting a much more uh, stable model than in the last iteration here so I'm I saw like stuttering on on some of the edges there's still a little bit of it in the lights here down here in the Dominics but the model itself is now very crisp um, so this definitely looks and feels a lot better Ooh, I could quickly see if there is medium ammo for sale uh, there is nothing for sale from the looks of it take a quick look void M uh, there is in system just not in this station unfortunately so let's get back to the outside view let's see how that loads up all right bit of hesitation but we make it still some guys on the tether back here and so that's the outside view from the keep star We also have a bit of a tether up here. Open several different windows through the Neocom and then close them again. So we can open up the market window. We can open up our mail window. We can open up our wallet. Uh, the structure browser, for instance. Hmm, here you can clearly see some of CCP structures and things like that. Uh, what else do I often use? Um, let's see. Well, ship fitting, of course. Uh, if you're curious about the fit, I'll put it down below. This is just a quick CC fit, uh, something that should tackle cruisers and even frigates quite nicely. But it's definitely not a great fit or anything like that. Then we'll uh, reclose these as asked. And then, uh, for example, agency, fitting, inventory, corp window and so on. Yep, uh, agency, of course, that should be reworked. Let's take a look at that. Here is the agency. And that is actually the old version. When you log in for the first time, you do get the reworked version. But this is still the old version of the agency. So that doesn't load up automatically just yet. And now undock and redock a few times. Okay, scary stuff. Let's go. Undock. Can I see? Yeah, here is my ship. So that's working okay. You do want to wait for the session change timer to end. But at that point, you should be able to redock. Without any problem. So we'll do that from the outside view. Just look at the keep star needing to load. Look at all the ships coming and going. Yep, it's it's definitely not super easy performance wise. Not the most stable. Now we're going to do one from the inside as well. So view on the inside. Then we'll do an undock. Let's see how that loads up. Um, yeah, there's a massive keep star behind here that took a little bit of time to load it up. So, but now it, this is pretty normal. We are undocking. And is it me or is the timer here a little bit um, faster when we're coming from inside? From the inside view. FPS here. Uh, getting to six, 50 to 60. So it's definitely good. I wouldn't call it super stable or crisp. Um... But definitely still workable, right? All of this feels quite okay. And then we'll redock on the inside. And now, uh, yep, okay, we're still doing that. So here we go. As you arrive, you have your session change timer again. Once that's gone, undock again. Yeah, takes a while for the keep start to actually load up, but this to me feels like it's doing what it's supposed to. Two more minutes of docking and undocking. Okay, uh, then I'm gonna dock, get back to the outside view. We're gonna try that a couple times because, of course, I personally think that uh, docking to the inside view is, is the least uh, intense. When, when it comes to uh, the performance needed there. So we're going to go back to the outside view. You can see my performance dip already just to get everything loaded. Because it is 
a grid basically and then we'll undock again camera pans down towards me okay I actually like that effect and then we're back in the 50 to 60 range and the timer is gone so we can redock and 400 in local okay definitely the biggest mass test uh, of the year um, and uh, yeah, a large one for for quite a while I think or was the previous mass test did we reach 400 people there as well I'm not I'm not sure anymore but this definitely feels like an above average um, amount of people and so what I'll try uh, for the last one here I don't think I can press dock now oh well, it did just say yes so let's see the timer is now over does it remember that yep okay and now it's still running so we'll press undock again as well just try and get that going as quickly as possible since everything worked let's uh, give the server something to do and another undock that is successful yeah I would say that this is looking pretty good of course I don't know what CCP is seeing behind the scenes uh, if uh, parts of CC of uh, the Singularity test server are catching fire at this point, it is possible. Uh, but we are still here and this still feels quite okay. And still going up. 405 at this point. Typhoon. Yeah, looks pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to take a quick look if I would align. Because normally... We'll have to go towards point dot. So let's do a quick align too and see if uh, it's actually badly aligned for the station. Or you could also, let's see here, distance, point dot. All right, it's actually well aligned, not a problem. There we go, <laughs> as expected. Aligned to the point dot gate. I am ready to go. Undock first if you're still docked, of course. And there we go. Seems to be working. And now we get uh, lots of capitals again. Lots of dreadnoughts. Lots of faxes. And then up here, there's the titans. This puts us at a good 20 minutes. Feels okay. And then uh, we should have the PvP fight. Where, of course, the real test of performance is going to be so far. Even the sheer presence here on the grid is... Uh, it's noticeable. I'm, I'm not gonna say that uh, it's not noticeable. But if you look at what's happening here, that does look nice. Uh... Let's give that just a couple of seconds to give you guys this view. Look at that. The mass testers. Oops. I was actually in the model there. The mass testers out in force. All undocking. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Look at all the big ships as well. And up to 4.7. Let's keep it going. see these guys are aligning so that's all working out and actually yeah, quite a few battleships but then if you look at the bulk of all of these dreadnoughts and these faxes again battleships I think are gonna be cleared quite quickly fleet W jump to point dot and set up a gate camp let's jump the gates our fleet is at 152, 407. All right, we're lagging behind a little bit in numbers, I think. But uh, we should do fine. And there we go. I was waiting for the uh, performance drop for the grid leaving. But this was okay in the end. Fleet W, jump to point dot, set up the gate camp. Right. <laughs> Roxy wants to join W. Understandable. 
I have to say fleet W is the best fleet to be in when it comes to these mass tests it's uh, starting to be a running joke on uh, on the test server but uh, we try to uh, keep it alive so let's go after a long battleship warp we make it so let's get through we actually have other guys coming here as well I hope not too many noob trolls go through because uh, they will get targeted I think we already have a Gila here and a pacifier and a Tengu that are not in fleet so I'm going to uh, try and uh, stick to the um, the rules you actually wait for the signal from CCP before you start any PvP stuff. Um, let's orbit this one at current. I think that's always okay to do. Since uh, others will also get close to this range when they go through. And... Yep, there we go. Combat has started. Poor Tengu. There it is. At this point, FPS is actually quite okay. Local is at 111. And that poor Tengu is caught by the Lashak. And promptly destroyed. And here they're going after something else as well. Yep, the Gila. Not a good idea to be neutral. Oh, something is uh, doing some damage to me as well. All right. Not sure why. Here comes the first explosions. Fleet X still needs to warp and wait. So basically we still don't have a go for, <laughs> for all the combat. Um, but this is almost inevitable in this situation. Um, if you jump in with a neutral hurricane fleet issue, just like in Nulsic, um, yeah, they'll say thank you, <laughs> goodbye. So we get some bots on the field. Let's try to keep as many of them here this time. We actually do want that stress to be added. The more people actually get in here, the better. Fleet is at 153, local is at 130. So we should still need some more people coming in. Um, Titan-wise, I'm not seeing that many of them. But we do have good boosts. And is he really already starting his attack on me? Is the rattlesnake attacking me? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, then uh, <laughs> Fleet W doesn't like that, so he's gone. All right, let's quickly return these guys. And uh, was it Riza? No, it was not Riza for sure. I think Meow Niku. Yeah, this is the capsule that was there. Started attacking me. And this is the signal Fleet X. Jump to Poitot and fight. All combat is now allowed. Technically, you ought to wait for that. As the revelation from... Ooh, a little bit of a hanging there, but all right. The revelation uh, from Busta is uh, definitely primary at this point. Everybody's going loose. That looks cool. And he's already down. Okay, let's start seeing if we can spot... A doable target. Uh, Nyx uh, feels a bit big. Manticore. We do have an executioner. Is he close enough? Ares from tests. Uh, Cacroach. I don't want to do that. Maybe we can try the Ares. If I can grab him quickly enough. Let's give that a go. Uh, he's already pulling away from me. Unfortunate. We get a hound that's very close. If, uh, if, if the lag does... Mean that he can't move that quickly. And then we get a Kikimora. That could be a, a doable target. Kakroach got a, gonna leave that alone. And then the Ares pulled away very quickly. Kikimora. Alright. Catch it. Already gone. Um, anything. Yep. Here we get an Eagle. And we get a Loki. Let's get started on that Eagle. Nope. God damn! <laughs> Chaos! Explosions everywhere, performance down to 20 FPS. My poor ogres taking a massive beating. Let's see if I can approach that eagle and actually catch it. Send my drones on it. Whipped. 
Scram incoming. We're gonna use this as well. We're gonna use the Newt. We're gonna stop this. And now we're gonna get straight into that battle. And let's see if we can. Come on, ogres. Keep going. Ooh. Must have been a burst because I can't target him anymore. Let's restart that. Keep approaching it. Target the healer. Poor ogres. They're suffering. Getting into damage. Uh, damaged a little bit, but this is still okay. You guys still doing all right. Ooh, need to get closer. Ah, he's actually micro driving away from me, I think. All right, switching to that guy. I can catch you. Stop that. Go off to the healer. And attack. There he is at 900 meters. Should be able to do some damage to him. Uh, activating second rep. As a good god. Yeah, even the sound is hanging. 285 at this point, the local. So I'm gonna guess that we managed to get up to 800. But this is quite intense. And as I've said, the scale of the fight is basically a bit too much. Let's get some extra cap to keep going. I lost the target again. Retargeting the healer. Ogres. All right. Surviving surprisingly well. Grabbed. Half shields. And we are still going. Uh, 20 FPS. Okay, for everything that's happening, this is still somewhat okay, I think. Let's slow it down. We've got some Serpentis coming in as well. Lost my first Ogre. Gonna switch to a Valkyrie. And uh, not sure. Oh, he's still. Yeah, keep losing that lock. That's annoying as hell. But my Ogres, I think they're still going. Not going anywhere. Engage. Add some guns. Let's see if we can nude him as well. And we are still surviving. Ooh, massive doomsday. That's pretty cool. Poor Ogres. Goddamn lock problems. Um, let's see. Can we get something at, let's say, 30 kilometers or so? Uh, well, nope, it's it's not going to last too long. Let's, uh, can we still request for something? Let's see if anyone can still catch me. Poor ogres. Poor Dominics. We're suffering. <laughs> Quickly dropping my guards. Do anything you still can. There we go. My Dominic spins out of control and is uh, taken out a little bit as expected. This fight is obviously dominated by the big ships. So that's what that looks like. Uh, let's see if we can spot the gates. Oh, we're actually, we ended up very close to the gates. Let's see if we can do an orbit at 1000. And then zoomed out. Getting back towards the 30 FPS, still almost to 80 in local. What the hell was that explosion? Haven't seen that too often. And we could jump through at any time uh, after my engagement timer, weapons timer is over. And then we even have a sleeper spy that is wondering what the hell are these crazy capsuleers doing here? Big hit on the shields. That does look cool. There's my poor little pot taking some damage. <laughs> and then that's the big fight. Lots of slots of smart bombs. Which is I think decently tough for the server as well. Um, then here goes the doomsday. That ought to be a fax gone or is it still up? Uh, oh, I, I didn't keep an eye on tie-dye, um, but I haven't felt it, to be honest. So that feels like it's gonna do okay. They're still shooting at that uh, fax here. We do have something blowing up here as well. Another doomsday loading up. There it goes. On the revelation, I think. We're still firing. But yeah, this is Titans, uh, Dreadnoughts, Faxes. 
This fight is fought at that level. <laughs> Very cool. But that's when they unleash everything. You can see that the performance does take a bit of a dive. But I also have to be honest. This feels like it is pretty good. Pretty stable. Um, you know, I could move around with the camera, zoom in, zoom out. This uh, maybe a little bit of hesitation, but it, it's still definitely doing quite okay. And uh, yeah, this feels like regular EVE Online. So, so far for the 64-bit clients, that looks pretty damn nice as the doomsdays keep flying around everywhere. And everything keeps blowing up. Let's risk it. Um, I'd be okay if we get into trouble. Tactical camera. There it is. It should give me some good control. Now we can start to zoom in on some of these ships. Look at that poor dreadnought down here. Let's hope that I still survive a little bit. Explosions on the inside. There she goes. We can pan around a little bit, see what else is uh, happening, being targeted. This fax is getting shot at quite a bit. Now we get an orbiting. Can I still. Uh, can we still grab something small? There we get a Kistrel. Look at him going through the battlefield. Those are pretty cool shots, in my opinion, as well. There we get a Vitmac. Look at him go. Pretty good. Ooh. Oh, don't send me home just yet. There's the Vindicator fighting. No. Ah, uh, well, there we go, guys. We are finally sent home. Successful boss test for the 64-bit client. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.